I like to use one that's just a little bit smaller to kind of open that end up. Just lightly tap it to get that end display and then I switch to the appropriate size. Make sure it's splaying out. Sometimes if I have something like this, where it's just a small section across here, I'll just go across with one needle like that, but then on the way back, just make sure I fall on the correct side so it looks like I came through with both. And since this is kind of a hidden area, it's not like a huge deal, but still, if you're able to come up on that same side, so it holds that angle to the stitches, it'll look nicer. Started sewing from this corner now. I'll just go all the way across this pocket and we'll finish in the back here so we can back stitch it. But to make it easy, I put little ties on here just to hold that in place and to make sure I don't forget it. Came up this side and then just did some back stitching right here. And we'll do the same thing from this side. That pocket's already on there. And from this corner, you can just start right in this corner and go over the edge. But I like to come from underneath in that corner, in between that very last layer there. Come from in between the two layers. So you'll get like what I have here. It comes out in, instead of going over that edge there, but it still goes right up to that corner. And then just continue on all the way around to here and we'll do some more back stitching. Okay, flipping to the other side here. And we're only sewing along this edge, not through both of these layers, so you're going to want to pull this up here. You can kind of form it a little bit to get it pulled up so you're not fighting it. I just try not to pull and put all the stress on the stitches here. Let it break in slowly. But that'll kind of separate that a little bit. And I like to use these curved harness needles. These are just curved needles and I filed the tips down a little dull so it's more of a harness needle.
Once you come around the corner here, it's a little bit different since you got this in the way. What if you just kind of lift this up? And then I use this thread and pull on it just to kind of make a space right there so I can fall back through without scratching that. Another thing you can do is go off the edge of a box or your table so it bends and kind of opens this up a little bit. So I have a little bit of stuff in the pocket there just to fill it out a little bit, help me get in here. But I also tied this down just so I don't forget it. Once I got to this corner here, since we're not along an edge, I switched back to straight needles. And I try to just hit a little bit of an angle while I'm pushing my thumb in there so I don't bump this back section. If you grab, just get a finger underneath there. First time you put this stuff in here, it might be a little snug. It'll wear in real nice. And there's actually a secret SD little pocket right there as well. A little business card. I think I'm going to alter the pattern a little bit and open that up to make it easier to get that in there. A couple cards here, extra pocket. This is where you can slide any color behind the broguing here. A couple more cards. There's a hidden SD pocket. A little SD pocket here. This pocket, I just have some leather in there now, but it can also fit pads. pockets designed in such a way so you push this through you can still use that closure just try to get it up above that section there if you don't have something to keep your page you can sew something into this to have draped through there Now we can still use this. Keep that closed. I'm going to form it just a little bit. snaps are done in a way so that you can go behind this pocket in order to squeeze these closed instead of trying to squeeze the whole thing. You can put optional strap and here's with white behind that broguing and it's just a piece templates included in the pattern thing to slide it back behind here. If you know what's going in this back pocket, I like to cut some cardboard out just a little bit bigger. You can see that the edges kind of give so that it'll form it nice.